Dr. Alison Beavis is an Associate Lecturer in the Department of Chemistry and Forensics at UTS. She's looking into how to improve forensics in the field. So Alison, what is a portable forensics lab? Uh, well basically it involves um, using equipment that can be placed into some sort of um, vehicle. Uh, a lot of the police agencies are using um, small vans or, or even small trucks um, and equipping those with um, state-of-the-art equipment that can help them um, answer questions at the crime scene which is really important. So explain to me in more detail how it would be used. Um, well it can be used at a range of different types of crime scenes. They might be a, a post-blast explosion um, uh, crime scene. It could also be used at a clandestine laboratory um, crime scene and, and those two are um, certainly uh, some of the more common, particularly overseas. Um, here in Australia we, we haven't, um, you know, thankfully had the exposure to explosions but certainly the clan labs um, are, are increasing in, in frequency. So the police take it to a crime scene, like an explosion or a drug lab, to do what specifically? Um, they'd be taken to um, different types of crime scenes um, where they can provide real-time information. So historically what would happen is um, samples would be collected and they'd be taken back to a laboratory for analysis. But what we're hoping to do more and um, more in the future is to um, allow the um, people at the scene to collect a sample, analyse it you know, at the scene and get some real-time information. It can and it can help with um, you know, leading the investigating officers um, you know, to find out some information very quickly which can be important um, as they're investigating a case. So is it a little bit like behind the scenes of CSI? Um, a little bit. Uh, <laughs> we like to try and distance ourselves um, from CSI. Um, it's very much a, a glamorous world and um, you know, while, while there is some, you know, some glamorous side to, to what we do, it's, it's certainly a little bit different. We, do, we don't go around chasing the bad guys, we just help the police chase the bad guys. <laughs> <laughs> so say I was a police officer and I was deployed to some kind of crime scene like a drug lab, what kind of equipment that you're working on would I be taking with me? Well, we're hoping in the future um, that um, some devices that we're working on here at UTS um, will, be, will be taken to um, a crime scene such as a, a clandestine laboratory. So we've been working on um, what's known as lab on a chip devices and essentially they're um, miniaturised versions of standard laboratory equipment and um, the, the miniaturisation aspect is very important um, when we're thinking about portable laboratories because of course you know, we need devices that can fit into a small um, you know, van or truck, um, have low power requirements because often you know, you're working in uh, non-ideal situations. And what are some of the other challenges? Um, some of the challenges um, in you know, analytical chemistry in general is um, sort of how small a sample size can we actually analyse? Um, because when you go to a, a crime scene, you know there could be, you know, it could have been raining, there, there could be, you know, any type of weather conditions, and um, actually retrieving evidence can be quite a challenge, and retrieving, you know, significant amounts of evidence can be a challenge. So we're dealing with, you know, literally particles of dust and and things like that. So it's it's developing detection methods that are capable of. Um, actually detecting whatever it is that we're trying to, to look at um, down to those really, really small levels. How small are we talking? Oh, well, the, the lab on a chip device, you, um, as an example, we can detect um, down to femtograms of um, compounds. So that's um, times 10 to the minus 15 grams. So, you know, we're, we're talking about really small, small amounts. Do you get to work with police? We do get to work with the police um, on, on a number of our projects and that's uh, something that's quite um, um, embedded in a lot of the research here at UTS is the um, external engagement and it's very important particularly in forensic science um, that we do have those collaborators because ultimately what we're trying to do is to develop a method that can be you know used by you know police agencies you know around Australia and then hopefully around the world. Now I'm also told that you get to blow things up um, we do get to blow things up. Um, that's probably one of the more exciting things of, of what we get to do um, and that it's all in the you know, name of research. Um, we're trying to develop methods that will detect smaller and smaller amounts of um, explosive materials. So the only way we can do that is to, to go out into the field and, and collect samples. There seems to be a lot of potential for your research. Yeah, there certainly is a, a lot of potential. Um, 
you know, across a wide uh, range of areas. Um, that's the, the one good thing about analytical chemistry is that, you know, it can be, you know, used to answer some really fundamental questions and, and that's what makes it such an exciting area of, of chemistry and science in general. Well, Alison Beavis, thank you very much. That was a really interesting interview and good luck with everything. Thank you.